Hi, Dr. G here. Thanks for watching this short video. Today I'll be discussing the use of inversion therapy and how it may be beneficial to you if you're suffering from low back pain due to a herniated disc. But first, let's go over the anatomy so you can understand how everything works inside the body. Over here I have a drawing of a vertebra and a vertebra on the bottom as well. So we have two vertebras. Now in between two vertebras you always have a disc like this. And next to that disc you have a set of nerves over here. Now the function of the disc is to basically act as a shock absorber where you're basically, every time you walk, every time you lift something, it's preventing this vertebra from touching this one. And inside here we have a gelatinous substance that whenever the disc gets injured, that substance can push outward and put pressure on the nerves next to it. So anytime you're doing any heavy lifting, anytime you're doing any uh, unusual movements where you're bending forward at the waist, you're putting a lot of pressure on the low back, putting a lot of pressure on the discs, and eventually over time, those discs can only take so much and they can tear on the sides and eventually herniate. So what we want to do is basically do the opposite of what happens every single day. Every single day gravity is pushing down on you, pushing down on these vertebras and putting a lot of pressure on the discs. So what we want to do is the opposite. We want to decompress the spine and that's what inversion therapy does. Inversion therapy basically consists of a device where you strap your feet and you're being inverted almost upside down or completely upside down once you're advanced. And what that does is by using your own body weight, your upper body weight and gravity, you're basically stretching out or creating a bigger space in between these two vertebras. And what that does is that it creates a negative pressure in the disc and a negative pressure always sucks stuff in. Let me show you an example of a positive pressure. If this were the disc, if I push down on it, you can see basically pressure being pushed down and the disc expands, the balloon expands, and that can put pressure on the nerves around it. Now a negative pressure does the opposite. We're basically stretching these out away from each other and what that does is that creates that negative pressure in that disc, taking the pressure off of the nerves where they should be. So that's the whole concept behind inversion therapy. One advantage of inversion therapy is that it's very cost effective. You can purchase a home unit anywhere from $100 to $300, which is relatively cheap compared to surgery, which you want to avoid, of course. A step above that would be going to see a doctor that offers non-invasive disc decompression therapy, but that can range from $3,000 to $5,000 for the whole treatment. And of course, like I said, you want to avoid surgery because that's going to cost you probably over $10,000. So this decompression therapy can be very effective, like I said, if you're suffering from low back pain due to a disc herniation. People who are always working with heavy stuff, carrying heavy stuff, at the end of the day, you're going to feel a lot of pressure in the low back. So decompressing the spine can basically help you feel better, even if you don't have a disc injury. So, so I just wanted to put this video together to give you another option. If you've been suffering from low back pain due to a herniated disc, go ahead and give this a try. However, you do want to talk to your doctor first because there are some contraindications for this therapy. Due to the fact that you're going to be inverted where your head is lower than your legs, you're basically going to get a lot of blood rushing to your head. Eventually, over time, of course, once you start doing it consistently, you'll get used to it. But people who are suffering from conditions such as a stroke, circulatory problems, heart problems, high blood pressure, glaucoma, shouldn't be doing this because of the rush of blood to your head. But now you have another option. Like I said, if you've been suffering from low back pain due to a herniated disc, go ahead and give this a try. It might help you out. And if you're interested in buying it, just click on the link over here right below this video and it'll take you directly to the one we recommend. If you're in the Atlanta area and, and you need help, feel free to call us. We're at 678-223-3900 or you can visit our website, drjoseguevara.com. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all the best.